What's up, man? Y'all waking up, man? Come on, man. What it's doing, man? Is it day? Is it night? Is it midday? Is it night? Is it turning to daylight? What is it? Well, come on, man. It's whatever you want to make it, though. You know what I'm saying? It's whatever you receive this information. Look at my lips. No matter what part of the world you from or where you in or where you at. You know what I'm saying? That's the power of the internet. You know what I'm saying? Let that motherfucker work that motherfucker. Yeah. So, what the fuck was I talking about right now? Because it was before I clicked the camera. What was I, I? It was some shit to work. What was I saying? About the... About... Oh, no. About the bitches. Oh, no. It was some real shit. What was it about, though? It was about, it was about what? It was about. Girls in the man's world winning. That's oh no, girl, no, girls in the man's world winning. That's exactly what it was about. No, for real. No, for real. Because look, check it out. A real man is going to get a female credit on where it's due. And what the females accomplished, you know what I'm saying? Throughout these years and years and years and generation, generation, generation. But the niggas the forefront, period. And it ain't nothing to be like, if a woman is thinking in her head, period. If a woman is thinking in her head, period. That she can take over shit like a man and she can do the same thing like a man that she's bucking the universal system because why is she built like a man? Why didn't the universe create her with less testosterone? <laughs> you feel me? Her output level ain't like a man's. Why? I didn't say it. You tell me. She tell me. A bitch don't make this world go around. A motherfucking nigga does. A man does. If you go to, we, y'all watching YouTube right now because y'all watching me. So if you go to YouTube right now and you look at, oh, how to fix this garbage disposal. Oh, how to fix this fireplace over here. Oh, how to fix these stairs. How many bitches going to be showing how to do this shit? They going to stay in they lane. They gonna show you how to put on some nails. You know what I'm saying? Try on a fucking universe ring or someone they channel or they hair. You, you gonna have these motherfucking weird ass niggas doing that shit too. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's none to discredit a woman, no. But a, but 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 a male and a female gotta know they play straight the fuck up. And that's big in life. If a motherfucking female is trying to be like a man and she's sticking that inside her head, she's all the way fucked up because she's trying to buck the fucking, she's trying to buck her DNA. How you, you certified crazy when you're trying to buck your DNA. When you get to the point to where you are trying to, to buck your whole creation. And you saying you in your head, you're trying to form another creation. And your ass going to sit here and die and that creation ain't going to be even fulfilled. Because you can never do it. How you going to be on a crash course? Come on, man. This is Stone Diesel Muscle talking this shit. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. How? That's like a bitch or a nigga trying to tell, turn himself into a female. What the fuck, blood? And niggas nowadays see nothing wrong with that. No, I don't care if you gay, lesbian, you could do your own thing like that. But the point to where you get to where you trying to, you trying to, you trying to, you saying that you denouncing yourself from being a man or a woman. Due to the selfishness in your sexual acts. Because you can say all day, all day long that the nigga can say, I was meant to be a woman. How, nigga? This is what you're dealing with right now. You a nigga. How, bitch? You a fucking, you a female over here. How? You act like you guys got the power to recreate this shit. And you don't. 
But you want to speak out your mouth like that's the way it is. And that's some trickery ass shit. Like I said, it's not about if you gay or you lesbian, whatever the fuck. All that shit's a whole nother motherfucking topic. But what it is is about how the fuck is the nigga gonna try to be a bitch and the bitch try to be a nigga. What the fuck? That's the problem with not having structure. That's why, that's why it's like that in prison where you keep motherfuckers in line. And see, that's what motherfuckers are scared of. They're scared to get checked and they're scared to keep shit in line. And they have stay scared to have an order. Nah, you gotta have an order. See, the motherfucker that wants a free for all, <sighs> nigga, they'll go for anything. They go for anything. So a motherfucker tells you that, oh, it's a, everybody's the same. Men and women created equal, all this and that. Nigga, pussy and the dick's the same. Nigga, all the, whoever tell you that, you feeding for it. Nigga, yeah, you're fucked up in the head too. Because you see what's going on right in front of your face. How you going to have a lifelong project, blood, of something that you can like never complete? Like you can never be it. Who does that? That's like hell on earth. That's like torture within itself. I don't care how much you take nigga a nigga and I don't care if he's already feminized. I don't care if the motherfucker uh, wants to be a woman and he's doing everything, taking the hormone pills, all the whole shit. Vice versa with a female trying to be a nigga, taking testosterone, trying to, you'll never be. So, bitch, so, so, nigga, if you trying to be a bitch so bad, you can't have no baby. But you can't have no baby. <laughs> it's always a cutoff. It's always a cutoff for what you're trying to do. And that's fucked up. <laughs> like, I want to, I want to get involved in something where I know I can be all I can be, nigga. Where I can be all I can, that feels good. Where you say, hey, man, I joined this class today, man. I'm a white belt, man. I, but what's the top of black belt? Oh, yeah, I could get that. It's hella damn, yeah, I could get that. But to be like, yeah, you go through it. You putting on your wigs and shit, getting here, probably stitching your shit like a Chucky doll. You trying to get hormones. You got titty, everything growing, booty and shit, everything. Nigga, the final step is probably getting your shit whacked off. And you still, you get your shit whacked off. You still got the nigga, the man gene in you. What are you doing? You're on a crash course. <laughs> You're on a crash course. That's the most fucked up thing about it, man. Starting a project, man. And on my mama, you know you can't complete it. And it's not even like it's being left off. It, yeah, it is being left off for the next motherfucker because they going after you stupid motherfuckers, nigga, to create something, nigga, else, some old Frankenstein ass shit. You know what I'm saying? But it'll never be. If they ever try to turn it to, it won't be natural, won't be white. It won't be right. But y'all better wake up to the future though because this is what it's going to be. So all you club hopping niggas and all this and that, you're going to be out there and the bitch is going to be fully a nigga over there and you ain't even going to know. This how this shit going to get. For the thirsty, tender dick ass nigga. The nigga that's so tender dick, he gonna be chasing another nigga. And don't even know. Because the nigga gonna have everything put all the way together. And vice versa. And that's how you horny niggas gonna be getting tricked up out your spot, nigga. Going into a whole other world, nigga. <laughs> Thinking that it's something, but it ain't. <laughs> Why, that's why you always gotta have that human communication. You gotta have that real life and direct shit. You gotta have that talking because at the end of the day, blood, how can I go meet this female out here? But I'm gonna know if I'm talking to a nigga. Point blank, period. If you're used to talking to bitches and, 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 and your genetics yearn for females, you gonna know if you talking to a nigga. How you not? Males, male, a male's patterns are way different than a female's. And to sit up here and say you don't know, no, you don't wanna know. Cause you an open motherfucker. You just for all openness. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody act any type of way. 
And we ain't just talking about with your sexuality. That comes to other shit too. Just a free for all. Nah. It always got to be a governance system. And any motherfucker who don't think that, the free for all mentality. Yep, you in that crowd. That free for all. Nope. It always needs to be an order. It always needs to be a structure. If it doesn't, tell me why. Why not? I'm telling you why. Tell me why not. Tell me why not. Most of you motherfuckers don't even, don't even, you guys are scared to approach life with a structure. Whether it's your friends, whether it's your family, whether it's your kids, whether it's whoever. Lay down the law. So you're telling me you're going to go all this time in your life, all these years, you're going to, hopefully you wake up tomorrow morning. Hopefully I wake up tomorrow morning and you ain't never going to try to create your own system. Blood, don't you want your kids, like if something happened to you, to be like, nigga, mom, nigga, dad used to do it like this. Nigga, they used to get the dishes clean. They used to do it like this. Blood, you die today or tomorrow, the kids don't know the structure of you. You ain't even laid down the law. Blood, I knew the law. My mom and dad, blood, I was seven, seven years old for sure. I already knew the law. What their expectations was, what they was getting on my ass over. What I was obligated to do. Seven. This is when the full comp. It, I want to say a little bit before then we talk about full comprehension. Because I'm knowing the structure of the house of my parents. They don't even live together, but I know the structure of them both. See, you niggas, is, you niggas is in households right now where your dad might tell you some manly shit and you go run and tell your mom. Niggas, some bitch ass shit. You run to the bitch in the household and that's cool. And your mom don't even say, your mom probably comforts you. Grab you, oh, and probably go to your dad later on. Why you tell Timmy? Why you tell Timmy like that? She trying to get on you about the shit. And you ain't even told, you ain't even told little Timmy nothing wrong. Little Timmy just did some buster ass shit, nigga. And you getting on him about, nigga. You getting on him, nigga, like you supposed to. But the female's like, oh, no, you've been a little too hard on Timmy. It shouldn't have been. That's what I'm saying. That's what type of household you with motherfuckers is in. That's how you niggas is getting raised now. Nigga, the, the mom ain't even, the mom's supposed to look at the kid like, nigga, if I tell your dad this bitch ass shit, nigga, he gonna fuck the whole house up. That nigga's going to act crazy. Because the first thing the mom, the mom produced the little kid. So first thing she going to tell the kid is, hell no. She's not going to follow the kid. What that make her? And then here come the real nigga coming down the stairs. Nigga on my mama. Motherfuckers is in trouble. See, nah. You guys grew up. Your mom probably, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah, yeah, come on. No, you been too hard on Timmy. Nigga, Timmy ain't never had no real tragedies happen. Timmy probably barely, barely been into a fight, scratched. Timmy ain't even never had no stitches, no broken arms. And if he did, nobody else didn't break him. Timmy ain't never been shot. Timmy ain't never been jacked. Timmy ain't never been... Fucked up to the point to where, nigga, yeah, to where, nigga, he's in fights that he know he can't win. This is normal activity. Timmy don't got to worry about if he put them shoes on, somebody going to snatch him off his feet. If he don't act a certain way. No, because Timmy grew up in the day and time, and Timmy grew up in the, and guess what? He loves it. And y'all motherfuckers love it too. He loved it. He grew up in the day and time where, guess what? He don't even have that in his mind. So therefore, guess what? Timmy grows up to feel like he'll never be touched. Everything that comes out Timmy's life when he goes, gets older, it's never about the other side. It's never about, it's always about worldly shit. Because he's putting his fucking mind inside them motherfucking shoes. That's how you brought him up. That's how you, and he probably don't even wash them motherfuckers because he don't know how to wash. He don't know how to keep this shit clean. He don't know how to fold clothes. 
Timmy don't know how to do shit. He can't even mack a bitch. Timmy damn near almost should be fucking the mom. That's what he might as well be doing since the mom wanted him like that. No, you got to show that you parents. You got to stay down for your crown. Talking about you being too hard. Talking about probably you parents out there and tell your kid, get in the fucking room all day and feel sorry. You feel sorry like the motherfuckers in there getting tortured. Tortured. Mom on the couch. Man, Timmy been in there for... Man, come on, man. Tell him the dad. And the dad going with it. Bust her ass shit. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? Hell no. Nah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I made that video about... Nigga, if you got a dad that's ever... At least almost halfway ass being a part of your life. Recognize and dissect the nigga that he was. Wrong or right. Don't just put him on the chopping block because your mama wants you to. You feel me? Remember, he was fucking your mom. Man, I'm gone, man. It's Stone Diesel Muscle, man. We're going to talk about this in a little bit, though.